starting in 5 seconds during the last general elections the government found on careful consideration that it would not have been possible to provide such facilities without rousing criticism of unfairness and partiality from one group or the other however after the elections the government have given careful thought to the matter practices prevailing in other democratic countries have also been studied and compared it is well to remember that examples of other countries that can be cited in this behalf are not uniform and are based on conditions which differ radically in many important respects from country to country the practical aspect of the question has also great importance the area of the country the form of government federal or unitary and the number of parties involved all are factors which have been kept in mind by various countries in taking a decision in usa where broadcasting is run by private enterprise though certain principles of equal opportunity have been laid down by the federal communications commission in practice it is a rare occurrence because time has to be purchased and a great deal of bickering and dissatisfaction always exist in great britain only since war opportunities have been provided for a few election broadcast the allotment of time being subject to the strength of the parties and other practical considerations in countries like switzerland no time is permitted for election purpose on the radio while in france it is given though the time allotted is extremely short 5 minutes or less it is clear from a study of foreign practices that each country has taken the conditions prevailing there and also the number of parties and other factors into consideration the analogy of other countries therefore is of not much validity in coming to any conclusion as far as india is concerned taking into consideration the conditions prevailing in our country the government feel that it would be extremely difficult if not impossible to make satisfactory arrangements for giving such facilities to all political parties besides the points mentioned above another important factor has to be considered in other countries for national broadcasting only one language is used and that too only in national elections the exception is switzerland where there are three languages that it is one of the important reasons that switzerland does not permit the use of the national radio for election purposes and even for commercial purposes in india we are confronted with the task of providing facilities in 12 languages besides english and they would be asked to give equal facilities from stations of all india radio which are 26 in number moreover in working out any practical formula it has to be remembered that the number of parties which will have to be provided with these facilities comes to 
nearly 26 the apportionment of time between the various political parties and at different stations of the AIR would be a task of extreme difficulty and is bound to lead to criticism and partiality. The determination of the principle for purposes of allocation of time will also lead to much controversy. Language stations of regional centers of AIR might have to cater to a large number of parties and provide them with time for broadcast in at least two to three languages and sometimes more. Apportionment of time is made in different countries in different manners. Some doing it on the number of votes polled, others on the number of candidates put up by parties. We feel that any such apportionment would result in recriminations and criticism of government. On the other hand, if all parties have to be provided with equal time, the normal activities of the AIR stations will have to be drastically curtailed during the election time. The proposal to provide broadcasting time in a fair and reasonable manner therefore seems almost insoluble in practice. In view of these practical considerations, government have come to the conclusion that it would not be possible to allow political parties generally to utilize the facilities of the radio for election purposes. However, government feel that an experiment permitted such utilization on a restricted scale might be tried in order to see whether such facilities can be used for specific election purposes without taking a major part of the time of the radio and also without leading to a charge of discrimination or partiality. It has been decided that the four All India parties recognized by the Election Commission might be allowed the facility of supplying a summary of their election manifestos prepared by themselves which will be broadcast by AIR subject to usual rules. Such summaries might not exceed 10 minutes and will be broadcast in English and in all the regional languages of the country. If this opportunity is allowed at least to the leading political parties of the country, it will surely further strengthen the system of democratic government in the country and will provide healthy and fair conditions for fighting the journal elections. Stop.